What's going on everybody? The original Mako back with some more Vampire Survivors content and as promised this massive update is here and there are a few things to talk about and in this video we're going to be talking about the new character and weapon but before we get into that be sure you check the links down below as always. At the time you're watching this I might be streaming maybe Vampire Survivors, maybe another really cool fun game that you haven't even heard of but you look at it and you're like wow this guy's really cool and this game's really cool. So be sure you check out that Twitch link we're probably having a ton of fun over there so drop a follow and and come watch it's a lot of fun so other than that be sure to hit the subscribe button because there's plenty of vampire survivors content and content on those other games coming your way and you're not going to want to miss it so hit the subscribe button and help us get to 3k subs we're getting closer and closer and i really appreciate it now that being said let's talk about this new character and new weapon shall we and we're going to take a look here new character is this witch who is riding a broom uh, Giovanna and Giovanna grants 1% projectile speed every level. So as you can see, the way the characters are starting to go here is instead of being like, let's say, uh, bad examples, bad examples, Arca, which is weapon cool, or actually let me use, uh, Giovanna's counterpart, which is Pascalina, where projectiles get 10% faster every five levels and it maxes out at plus 30, Giovanna gets 1% projectile speed every level so as soon as you hit level 31 giovanna is just a better version of pasqualina thank you call of duty vanguard i appreciate your support so in order to unlock giovanna you have to find the coffin in the in a lad or inlaid library uh same way that we've been locking a lot of the characters recently is finding the coffins um but yes, finding and opening the coffin in the inlaid library will unlock Giovanna. Now, you might be noticing and wondering, what in the hell is this weapon? Or maybe you're watching this video because you're like, I've used this weapon, I'm extremely confused, what does this weapon do? Well, let me show you because I was extremely confused as well when I first loaded in, but now I have a slightly better understanding of it. But let's go ahead and load into, let's say, the library here. And we'll take, yep, we'll just let that do its thing because Arcanus is going to be a whole nother video but as we start to to play we're like ah, i'm just gonna reroll and just take duplicator sure and you see these random cats popping up and you're like what the what the hell is what is going on here i he just ran through them and nothing happened like why is he running through the enemies and nothing what is going what what, what? and then he's randomly hitting sometimes what is what is this weapon well let me explain it a little bit while we got this bumping music in the background so the gati amari which is the cat that we are looking at is a very very interesting weapon and an, a god-awful starting weapon but uh pretty useful on this character regardless though essentially whenever you 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 know after a set cooldown period the cat gets spawned in randomly typically walks in a straight line and will just walk until its duration ends it has a luck-based chance to attack, claw, an enemy. And it has, um, along with that, there are obviously other cats on the screen, which also have luck-based chances to attack. So the higher your luck is, the better chance that the cat will attack while it's running through its line. Uh, it's also affected by cooldown. The, the faster cooldown, the more often you're going to be spawning cats. The, the longer duration, the longer that there's a cat on the screen. Um, damage obviously affects it with the damage that the cats do. Luck affects how often they attack. And I, I, pretty much everything affects, uh, you know, duplicator will affect it. Projectile speed affects how fast they move, which is pretty convenient for a reason we're gonna explain here in a second. So essentially everything affects these cats. Now, the big thing with these cats and why they're actually really, really good, and you'll see that in a few examples potentially, but it could be a part of the high kill runs now, is because when two cats, and we'll see if we can get it to happen here, probably not, especially at the start. Um, we'll actually grab Clover. Oh my gosh, I'm getting farmed. Uh, if two cats happen to attack each other, like they're in their each other's radius and they're attacking, they will start a scuffle in the middle of... Oh, that was close. In the... Oh, that was close too. Uh, in the middle of 
wherever they are, and it's a giant AoE that does tick damage every second. So it's like a it's like a bigger version of Santa Water that also hits a little bit harder. So it's pretty good when it happens. Now, obviously, right now it's not happening a lot. We don't have a ton of cats. Oh, look, there it is. Let's go, baby. Um, so as you can see right here, this is an example of the cat uh, scuffle. <laughs> And it'll last for a long time. And once again, this is with like barely any buffs. So it, it's pretty good and will do a lot of damage pretty fast to most enemies that go through it. And if you have more cats out there, you could have 10, 11 scuffles going on at the same time, which is really, really convenient. So what are the best ways to upgrade this weapon? What are the best complements, the best passives to go with this weapon? In my opinion, uh, cooldown is always one of the best ones because... The more cats you're spawning in, the higher likelihood you are to have them run into each other and start a fight. Uh, duplicator, for the same exact reason, because you're getting just more cats out there every single time. And the third one, and this is a tough one for me, because it's between Candelabrador and Bracer, because both are really good. Candelabrador affects the AoE of not just the cat's normal attack, which means it has a better chance of getting into fights with other cats more often, but also the big area of effect uh, fight that the cats have is bigger if you have AoE increased. But I think it has to go to projectile speed because the faster the cats are moving around, once again, when they attack, it, it, you know, there's like a duration-based thing. So the faster they're moving around, the more likely they are to run into each other and happen to attack, leading to a fight. From what I've seen, and what I've played, which is only a few hours of this update, but Bracer seems to affect, uh, other than projectile increases, and just having more cats on the screen, projectile speed, Bracer seems to affect the amount of f fights that happen more often than anything, which I think is why they put that as the starting weapon for the character, you know, who has a projectile, or has a... a projectile speed bonus for every level so those are probably the top three things once again you can't really go wrong with too much though because chances are uh whatever you pick up in your passive slot if it affects any other weapon it'll affect the cats in some way now there is another little tidbit about these cats these cats tend to like to pick up things on the ground. Now, they won't pick up XP, they won't pick up chests, but if you're, you know, using these, uh, destroying these torches, maybe you can find some floor chicken on the ground, maybe you find some, you know, an a vacuum orb, a suck orb, maybe you find, uh, what else, what else would you find? A flamethrower, uh, a, a little time stop thing that stops, freezes time, you know, whatever it may be. Yeah, as you can see, not a good starting weapon. Um, whatever it may be, it will affect the cats, or in some way. So they like to pick those things up, the floor drops. They will pick up your chickens. They will pick up your vacuum orbs. They will pick up any of the power-ups that are on the ground. They will pick them up and use, uh, use them. So I don't have the exact... Uh, exact things for each and every thing that happens but what i can say is when cats pick up floor chicken it actually very positively affects them because it increases their base chance of attacking and um sorry it increases the base chance of them attacking starting a fight and increases their base damage by default so damage goes up fighting goes up and basic attack chance goes up so floor chickens are actually a huge buff to the cat that picks it up. Now, the only other thing that I know what it does is the, the little stopwatch that usually freezes time. I know if cats pick those up, then that cat will freeze in time like, like an enemy would. I'm going to pick up that chicken. Sorry, cat. You couldn't get to it in time. Uh, but if they run over it, they will pick it up and use it. Now, the vacuum orbs, once again, I don't know what that does because... So far, it seems like they just steal those from you. They just kind of take them away, and you're kind of left hanging, um, which is kind of sad, but it seems to be what happens. Same with, like, Flamethrower. It, it doesn't look like the cat does anything different. They just kind of 
you know, pick it up and there, you know, it goes away from there, which is not very good, if not a very good thing to have, obviously. But um, kind of a very interesting and intriguing weapon that's hard to understand how exactly it works, but um, as I played with it more and, and talked to some, some people, we kind of figured it out. Um, and like I said, every cat has a base chance to attack. And if it runs into another cat that's attacking, they'll start a fight, leading to this big pile up. And once you have the cat fully maxed out and your passives fully maxed out, it, there are a lot of these fights going on at once. And it brings a ton of damage and DPS with it. I mean, like crazy levels, which is super exciting and super fun. It also seems to be a very common weapon. If you play on other characters and you want to try it out, it, it seems to be an extremely common weapon, which is also exciting. So uh, just wanted to do a quick video kind of explaining this new weapon because it was very confusing to me when I first played and I didn't know what was happening. But the more I, you know, once again, the more I played it, figured it out, talked to some people who had, who had looked at the wiki and figured some stuff out. So um, this is where it led us to these conclusions. And I'd be interested to see, I th like I said, I think all of the floor ground pickups should affect the cat in some way but i don't know what vacuum orb does i don't know what the flamethrower does i don't know what the cross does um so if you guys know feel free to let me know or comment it down below but anyways that's it for this video just wanted to make one explaining this new character how it works and how the the new weapon works specifically because there's a lot of nuance with this weapon compared to others so thank you guys for watching as always i really appreciate the support like i said be sure to check those links down below as always hop on over to the twitch channel or drop a sub right here um it would mean a lot to me i'd really appreciate it and there's plenty of content coming your way soon so thank you guys for watching hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day i love each and every one of your faces and i will catch you all in the next video